Welcome to Tea to Green, brought to you by Cleary Building Corp, American Family Insurance, Bruner Realty, Callaway Golf, the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, and Middleton Ford. Welcome back to another episode of Tita Green TV. I'm still Van and you are? I'm still Derek. All right, on today's show, we're going to talk to state champions. Joe Ring, the coach for the Edgewood High School Crusaders, as well as his number one player, Ben Gillis, fresh from a state championship at University Ridge. Long overdue for those guys, and yeah. it's, it's nice for Joe Ring to be able to. I'll tell you, I couldn't be happier for Joe. Longtime player, played at Edgewood, now he's the coach. And he's got a young team, but in years past, we kind of thought, man, this guy's going to finally get it done. Didn't happen this year, one senior. Look what happened, state champion. When you least expect it, when okay. You least and then, it. you know what? Now we talked about floating oh, like man. a butterfly. Okay, oh, so man. now we got Steve Plock, TaylorMade. Matt Flatten. Matt Flatten, Adidas. You know, and they've kind of had a little... They just got out of divorce court, <laughs> from what I understand, right? So, but we're going to talk to them about yeah. technology. And you know what? The game of golf is based upon technology. And we're going to have a chance to talk to them about some of the neat stuff that's out there that can really improve your game with proper schooling from your PGA professional. Well, and not only that, but, you know, the technology, everybody always, you know, focuses on the drivers and the irons and what's out there and the golf ball. But really, Matt Flatten's going to tell you, if you don't have the right shoes, you're, oh. you're kind of going to be left behind here a little bit. So if this you new walk, boost and everything. If is, you walk in bad shoes, you'll have a major hitch in your giddy-up. Okay. Okay, you Whatever take that you to say. the OK Corral, because, <laughs> all right, we've got Tita Green TV teed up for you, so stay tuned. In a world where solid hardwood and steel collide, one builder rises above all others. That builder is Cleary Building Corp. <laughs> Customize your Cleary Building with our new online color visualizer and floor planner. Don't be stuck with a clunker. Upgrade your facility today. Best in class engineering and one-on-one -on -one customer service. <laughs> Cleary Building Corp. Over 100,000 buildings and counting since 1978. Before I joined the first tee, the only sport I ever did was surfing channels. I used to get seed and D's. Now I'm planning for a BA in history. I've learned a lot at the first tee. I even learned how to play golf. Put a golf club in a young person's hands and watch them grow. At the first tee, we instill values like confidence, judgment, respect, and integrity. Values they learn from golf, but take with them for the rest of their lives. Find out how you can get involved today. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. It's so much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. Nevada Bob's, your game, your store. Number one in service selection and always at the best price. Welcome back to Tita Green TV. I'm Vance Stout and joined by Joe Ring to my far left, the uh, boys golf coach at Edgewood High School and then Ben Gillis, number one player for the Crusaders, uh, fresh from a, a state championship division two. Congratulations first and foremost. Joe, it, you've been a bridesmaid the last couple of years. Uh, I would imagine nice to step into the winner's circle again. Oh, absolutely. You know, three years in a row we took second. Uh, ben got to play in all three of those, so we had a lot of experience together. Uh, coming up just a little bit short, you know, I always tell the guys it's really hard to win the state tournament. So, uh, you know, be happy we did well, we took second, but uh, this, this year we got to hoist the, hoist the gold trophy. Ben, you being a senior, how special was it for you to be able to go out on top? Oh, it meant, it meant the world to me. Um, 
as Joe said, we took runner up the past three years, which, you know, it was it was nice, but it was also sort of annoying at the same time. So it was nice getting it done this year. Did you feel a sense of pressure, you being a lone senior, uh, did you feel some additional weight on your shoulders say, look, I got one last shot, fellas. We gotta we gotta pull it together? Yeah, I think there was some pressure there, um, more so than the freshman year, but mm -hmm. uh you know, our team came together and we ultimately got it done and put some good rounds together, so. It's a series of progressive steps that you hope to take along from early in the spring to ultimately where you, you finish at U Ridge in June. But, you know, when you thought about at the beginning of this season, did you think that you had the components for getting to ultimately to the Ridge and then winning once you got there? To start the year, I thought that we would be a good team, uh, that we would have a chance to be, you know, fighting for the state championship. I, this team actually did surprise me a little bit. I did not think we would be as consistent as we were all season. I think we won like seven tournaments uh, during the season. So them coming out and playing that well that early and that consistent uh, surprised me a little bit. Early Vegas odds, Joe, have you guys, I think, five to two for uh, winning a state champion in 2018. Can you step up and uh, get that gold ball once again? <laughs> uh, we are definitely going to try our best. <laughs> You've got a nice young team coming back and now they've had a taste of success. Is that really important in the offseason that they work hard both in and out of the on, on the off the golf course? Well absolutely I mean they got a test of what it's like and I was talking to Ben you know the last couple holes and saying you know we had three guys that had not played at the state tournament that this year before this year so you know they came in this was their first year experience so we were very consistent during the year but that state tournament it's just a different feeling sure. uh, the pressure is different it, it's the end of the year and you want to do your best there so it's just you, you try to tell them what it's like but until they experience it you know they just don't know so Absolutely. it's going to be great help for us next year having them have been through that one did you have any kind of a fire and brimstone speech i mean you know guys this is his last shot, you know. I mean, what are we going to do to try to get things rolling here to, to train in the silver for the gold ball? Yeah, no uh, no big speeches. Uh, talk to them about, you know, it's a process. You know, we start each year talking about, you know, what we need to do to get better. You know, how good can we be as a team? And um, so the whole season is based on, you know, how can we be, how can we stay in the present moment? Mm -hmm. You know, how can we play each hole by hole uh, so that we don't start thinking about what it means? Uh, so that we can play our best at the state tournament. You were a runner-up. I mean, it would have been nice to be the overall individual champion as well as a team champion, but what are you hoping to do uh, past high school now at, at Edgewood to continue your golf uh, exploits? Well, yeah, I'm playing uh, <clears throat> Division One golf at UW-Green Bay next year um, for Lee Ranke. He's the head coach. So I'm really looking forward to that. I know a couple of the guys already on the team, and they're great guys, so I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations once again, fellas. Okay, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Right. Tita Green TV will continue in just a moment. They really are built Cleary tough. That's what I'm saying. And with over a 98% customer satisfaction rating, isn't it time you build it, Cleary Tough? Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. Newer used fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you pay too much. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, then I look at you. <laughs> it's all right. right with me. <laughs> Just one look at you. When we decided to sell our home, we didn't really know where to start, so we contacted Bruner Realty to help make the process less stressful. Our Bruner Realty agent came in, learned about us and our home, 
created a customized marketing plan, and in just five days had accepted off for our home. Our agent always kept us in the loop, and the service they provided was both professional and personal. We would definitely recommend Bruner Realty to anyone looking to buy or sell their home in the future. I was one of the first to play Chrome Soft. It's long, extremely soft, and unbelievably easy to control. I could tell right away it was a different kind of ball. But some golfers have not even tried Chrome Soft. Let me ask you something. If you're not willing to change, how can you expect to get better? Chrome Soft, it's the ball that changed the ball. Here's your tee to green pro tip. Once again, it's time for a tip from a pro. That happens to be me, and I'm joined by my good friend Zach Gogart once again. And today we're going to talk about controlling the golf ball really inside 100 or 150 yards. And one of the ways we like to do it is first, when you have a golf club with loft, if you are making full swings, going 100%, just know that the chance for error goes way up. So what we're trying to do is make an abbreviated backswing, maybe like three quarters or a half swing depending upon the shot. And let's say you hit a nine iron that goes 150 yards or a nine iron that goes 125 yards. I would encourage you at home to not to try to do that. So if you'll take a look here, we have a rod on the ground and that is going to set Zach's feet up a little bit to the left of the target more than if we are hitting a full swing, say, with a five iron. And the reason why we do that, go ahead and set up, as he gets what we call a little bit more open to the target, it allows him to get his hands inside his left thigh and lean the shaft of the golf club a little bit more forward. You'll also notice that the ball is back in his stance a little bit. And what that does is it actually de-lofts the golf club so that the shots that he hits are gonna come off a little bit lower and a lot easier to control. So. Go ahead and set up once again. We got our feet a little bit to the left. His hips, as you'll see from down the line there, aren't as open as his feet, meaning they're turned to the right a little bit. And then his shoulders are really squared to this alignment rod right here, which is pointed basically right at our intended target. So you can see his shoulders here match up perfectly. So he's gonna swing this golf club. You're gonna see about a three quarter or a half swing and the ball is gonna come off a lot lower so that he has control of it. Beautiful. So when he does this, the first thing that's happening is a shorter golf swing means there's not as much speed as when he's swinging it and the spin rate, how much the golf ball spins, which can really lead to a lot of curvature if you miss hit it, when he does it this way, if he does miss hit it, the curvature will not be nearly as dramatic. So there is a very big difference between what your full swing is and what maybe a three quarter or a half swing is. And generally people when they go to the range are always practicing full swings. And it's very interesting that on the golf course, you will rarely have a full swing unless you're on your number, meaning you hit a nine iron 150 and you're on 150. Well, what do you do if you're 140? So the first thing we're gonna show you is Zach's full swing. Go ahead and do that. So that was Zach's full golf swing. Now you're gonna notice that the swing he's gonna make in order to really control the golf ball and flight it down a little bit. And remember again, flight it down means how high you hit the golf ball. Balls that go up really high tend to float a little bit. They're very difficult to control, and there's a time and a place for those shots. But if we're trying to control it, we want that abbreviated three-quarter golf swing. Zach, go ahead and show us that. And there you have it. You can see the difference in the length of his golf swing. One being a full swing, producing a high shot, kind of hits his number. That one there, a little bit more controlled, ball flight comes down and he's making a lot of birdies. And that's a tip from a pro brought to you by the Wisconsin PGA. Welcome back to Tita Green TV. We're joined by a familiar face, Matt Flatt. We're trying to boost our ratings because we've got the boost wow. shoes here. Matt like Flatten it. has been a statewide sales representative for Adidas and uh, quite honestly, Adidas has, the three stripes have gone crazy. The boost shoes, a lot of guys wearing those out on tour, whether they're with 
Adidas or not, they're a very popular shoe. Absolutely. We've been very fortunate throughout the years to get a lot of players uh, wearing the shoes on tour. And now with the blue Boost Foam, uh, it's really taken retail by storm, and, and we're on a path to uh, continue to have another great year with it. Uh, comfort is an important thing, but you know what? I'm fearful. I like these better because they're the traditional spikes. Yeah. But I think you're seeing more and more people going, I call them boat shoes. That's just me being old. But nevertheless, I think that more and more people are going to this because of the comfort factor, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, Adidas is all about stepping comfort right out of the box. You get it out of the box, you buy it at your local retailer, you put it on, you know it's going to be mm -hmm. comfortable right out of the box. It's no break-in period. And at the end of the day, also, when you get on the golf course, it's all about comfort and stability. <laughs> Tell us about the technology and the shirt and what we can expect from Adidas this year. Yeah, no, thanks for mentioning that. I mean, this is very similar to what I'm wearing. Uh, this is Climate Chill. So there's two technologies that we use in Adidas Golf. One is Climate Cool and the other one's Climate Chill. Uh, the main difference between the two is one's going to give you moisture wicking. Um, it's going to continue to keep you cool throughout the, the round of golf. And then Climate Chill actually has titanium yarns, which are visible inside. Here we go. I can't go can't through the x-ray machine anymore. There we go. <laughs> um, so what that does is it actually gives you a cooling sensation as well. Yeah. Um, so it tricks your body into feeling, giving you that cool sensation and that it also wicks faster than any other product on the market. To boost your possible sales, make people aware out there that, quite honestly, Adidas also has the opportunity to work with corporations in terms of apparel and things like that. That could be a huge opportunity for you as a sales rep, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, wherever you buy your golf equipment, they would have the ability to um, place a corporate order for you or your business if you have an outing or something coming up that you need a substantial amount of shirts for. We can definitely take care of all those needs and do custom embroidery as well. And we'd be happy to do it at Blackhawk too, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A boost for our show. Thank you. Hey, thank you very, yes. very much Thanks for being for here, all right? Thanks. Tita Green TV will continue in just a moment. Next on the last one, we have... Looking for a game? Now you can join Sherry Steinhauer, Jerry Kelly, Andy North, and Steve Stricker and become part of the Champions Club of the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. Go to thefirstteescw.org or ask about us at your favorite golf club. Join Sherry, Jerry, Andy, and Strick in the Champions Club. I'm Sherry Steinhauer. Join me and support the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. You're up. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. So much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. The Payroll Company, your source for the best in class HCM technology, HR outsourcing, and retirement plan administration. You can talk about technology and go on about your innovation. You can tell golfers you're the longest and claim to be the best. Or you can build something that's truly epic. Introducing Jailbreak. It's redefined how the head and face react at impact. It's transformative speed and it's only in Epic. From Callaway. T2 Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Welcome back to T2 Green. I'm Derek Schnarr, joined with longtime good friend Steve Plock. There may have been a little bit of a divorce, but we're still very <laughs> hunky dory. So let's get right into it. I mean, Dustin Johnson, hot as can be, but the buzz this year, not so much about the driver, a little bit more about the golf ball. Tell me all about it. What do we well, got? Well, the, the, the golf ball truly is revolutionary. Um, the golf ball is in uh, 10 years in making, uh, and it's uh, the uh, a five liter urethane golf ball. And I would tell you that there's only a few times in my career that you see replacement cycle type products. This is one of them where the technology and the performance jump is so great that people have to try the ball because it's that good. So well, what is it doing that's so good? So really, because it's a five liter golf ball, we'll say that it's a tri-core, three cores and a dual cover and it's the material and how we align the cores that has the golf ball perform much differently. It launches much, much higher than 
our competitors, and as a result, it doesn't require as much spin to keep it uh, in the air or aerodynamically. The net result is we design the core so that it spins less initially. The net result is there's less drag. And because there's less drag, there's faster ball speed. Are you following this at home? So higher launch. Higher launch. Lower spin. Lower spin. Which means less curvature. You guys have redefined forgiveness over the years. Correct. And it goes farther farther. I see we have two different models here. We got what? A TP5? Is this like the X and the non-X? How's it work? Yeah, TP5 and TP5X. The okay. X, if I compare it to the TP5, will launch higher okay. off the driver okay. in comparison to TP5. will spin slightly less around the green and be slightly more firm. It's 90 compression. And then the inverse, TP5, is a little lower off the driver, spins a little bit more green side, okay. and is a little softer. So it's 83 compression. So the packaging, Stevie, looks real pretty, but I see here that we have the golf ball kind of cut in half again. Yes. Very symbolic yes. of how my ball looks when I get done <laughs> with a round of golf. But tell me what's happening here. So really, um, TP5 is the uh, blue core. Okay. So you can see all five layers in the golf ball. Mm -hmm. And when I compare it, hold up, Derek, the uh, uh, TP5X, the urethane cover is much thinner on X versus TP5. Oh, yeah. Yep. And again, the fastest layer is right here where red borders the black okay. or the teal borders the clear. So if I can compress the cover or the, of the golf ball at 70 miles an hour with a driver, I'm going to benefit from the golf ball. I'll see increases in distance through ball speed. Well, let's <laughs> get right into the driver. I mean, this is kind of what mine looks like after a couple of bad tee shots. But what's new and exciting about the M1? So you're not far from your dad, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> so really what's different about the M1 is that we're utilizing more carbon fiber in the driver. So here and then in the toe plate underneath. Okay. And so it's 43% more carbon fiber. The net result is we take that weight savings and put it into the weights that are adjustable on the T-track or the underside of the driver. Got it. Which makes the weights more influential in shaping your shot or launch condition. And is there more than one version of the M1? Is there an M2 again this year? Well, there's two M1s, a 440 okay. and a 460, okay. and then there is an M2. Okay. We're doing the same thing. We just don't utilize carbon fiber in the toe panel on the underside of M2. Okay. So price points here for the driver this year, M1, the fanciest one I can get? $499 okay. at retail, and then M2 is $399. And I'm assuming there's fairway woods to match up and all that other great stuff? Uh, correct, yes. So there you hear it, everybody at home, the new M1 driver, the new TP5 and the TP5X. This is what TaylorMade thinks is going to be awesome this year, and the combination of the two should hopefully lower some scores around Wisconsin. Huh, Absolutely. Your proximity to the hole should be higher because you've got a shorter club in your hand. Thanks for joining us today, Steve. Appreciate I'm it, Tina Green, and we'll be right back. Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. Newer used, fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you've paid too much. The average age of a homeless person is nine years old. My dream is to help kids living on the streets with education. Charles, what's up, buddy? Whoa. Why have we help? Oh, man. Is that a basketball? Yes. Why? Wow. How are you doing? Kevin Durant. My heart is oh, up on my chest, man. Charles, you ought to be proud, man. I'm just extremely grateful that they were here, giving them some encouragement. That's something that these kids are going to remember for a lifetime. <laughs> you see his big old feet? Oh. As first-time homebuyers, working with Bruner Realty was an incredible experience. In this market, buying a home can be really stressful, but our agent was professional, was available 24-7, and worked really hard to get us our dream home, all while staying within our budget. Our agent worked around our difficult schedules and always put our needs and priorities above his own. If anyone we know is looking to buy or sell a home in the future, we wouldn't hesitate to recommend Bruner Realty. It seems like every financial company talks about investing your way to wealth. But what about protecting what you're building right now? 
At Northwestern Mutual, we know the importance of doing both. We combine personalized investment solutions that help grow your wealth with world-class insurance that protects what matters most to you. This whole picture approach is just one of the reasons 96% of our clients stay with us year after year. At Northwestern Mutual, we help you live life differently. T to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Here's your weekly T to Green fitness tip. Welcome back to the tip of the week. I'm Christina Schnarr with the Balance and Believe Golf Academy, here with Zach Goggert, our pro golfer. He's gonna go through some of these exercises with us. Uh, today, he's gonna start with a center plank. So we're working on the core. Zach is gonna be on his elbows and his feet. You can also do this on your hands if you'd like, or the knees. So our, our main objective here is working the core. So the abs are really tight, back is really straight. His shoulders and elbows are in alignment. If Zach wants to step it up a notch and add a little bit more of a challenge, he's going to take one leg up and down at a time. And then switching to the other leg, his body is perfectly still, no hip movement, no rotation, making sure the hips aren't sagging and the hips are not sticking up either, keeping it really flat. He's also going to take his right leg out to the side and back, just adding a little bit more of a challenge and the other leg, really good. Zach, how would you feel that these planks, have they played a role in your golf game at all? I think planks are, they're the one exercise that you will see all golfers doing. It's a total core stabilizer, helps you get uh, power, balance, stability, all those great things that we really need in the golf game. So I think planks have been the one single workout that have helped me the most. Awesome. With the center plank, you're really challenging the core. So I'd like you to try to start with 15 to 30 seconds, adding a little bit more on each time, really making sure that form is really perfect and that back is really straight. As you get stronger, really challenge yourself and try to do it for a minute, maybe two minutes, maybe five minutes, who knows what you're capable of. Do the best you can and keep working at it. See you guys next week on the Tip of the Week. Next week we got coming up the second year of the AmFam Senior Championship yep. at University Ridge. We're going to have a host of celebrities that we're going to talk to about that and uh, what a great event for this community. Well, and we're going to be out there looking at the kids participating in that Junior Skills Challenge thing. We're going to have Andy North and Stricker hopefully roaming around. We'll grab Am I them too old camera. for that? I got no skills. Correct, both. Too and, old, no skill. Okay, thank you very much. And wow. we like to do that because those that you play then can't understand why they lose money. Ah. Uh. That's why they have time machines, okay. Yeah. And on that note, we'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching T to Green TV. Want more T to Green TV? Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for episodes, bloopers, pro tips, and more. T to Green supports the Balance and Believe Foundation. To learn more or donate, visit bnbfoundation.org. T to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp., Nevada Pops, Northwestern Mutual, the Payroll Company, University Ridge Golf Course, and the Wisconsin State Golf Association and the Wisconsin PGA.